Welcome back. Families looking for a place to come together and trick or treat is found at the Community Fall Festival at Props Park in Columbus. Our Caleb Green went to see how people feel about this year's festivities. Happy Halloween! The fourth annual Community Fall Festival attracts a massive crowd, stretching nearly the entire length of Props Park. Organizations from all around the Golden Triangle table at the park, ready to hand out candy to trick-or-treaters. The festival was started by Columbus Parks and Recreation during the pandemic to fill the gap left by the cancellation of many events. To keep people safe, the festival was a drive through trick-or-treat event, but now it's a place for community to come together. Columbus Parks and Recreation is meant to improve quality of life, according to the Director of Programs, Chanda Williams. It means a lot because we're doing something, giving something back to the children. A lot of people can just kind of feel like they just e exist in a city, but if you have community events, you know, it brings out people. Just getting everyone together, I think it instills a sense of belonging and just a general appreciation of where you live. It's very important uh, for like unity. You know what I'm saying? It, uh, it, it only works if you work it. And when you come together, uh, the good book says, fail not to assemble yourself. So it's real beneficial to kind of just be amongst one another. The event also included bounce houses and places for families to take pictures. Fall festivities like this create fond memories that stick with people for a lifetime. Um, I always loved participating in costume contests held by my school. It was just really a moment for me to get out and build friendships and connections. My aunt had a family of nine and we would go to her house and have a big old party, me and my siblings. And so that's that's why I love Fall Festival because it comes back. This is home to me to say, hey, we need to enjoy our children and have fun with them. Of course, trick-or-treating would be incomplete without all the costumes. I love the costumes personally. I think it's really important for the little kids. I think the costumes are great. They look spectacular. A ninja war. I don't really, I don't really know because my mom had made it. She like bought two costumes and like, like take it apart, like took it apart and put it um, together. My favorite thing is that we don't add jumpers and and the children just smiles on their face. Happy Halloween! Telling your story in Columbus, Caleb Green, WCBI News. The next focus for Columbus Parks and Recreation is basketball registration ending November 14th.